Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be a perfume haul. And if you want to go right into the list, go ahead and go to this timestamp right here. I was going to do a very large collective perfume haul. But then I got a little crazy with perfumes during lockdown. <laughs> and I bought way too many to do one perfume haul. So I'm splitting it up into three. Oh yes, three. <laughs> so this first haul is just going to be eight perfumes. Four I've already opened, I smelled them, I already have feelings about them, and four I'm actually going to give you a first impression. So mix it up a little bit. They are blind buys. Most of my perfumes are blind buys. I don't mind blind buying perfumes but I don't necessarily recommend it. So we're gonna go over the first four that I tested out. There are two that didn't work out for me. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So I did pick up a couple of Paco Rabanne. I haven't had anything Paco Rabanne and it's very popular on YouTube. So I did pick up two of the Olympias and I picked up just the regular, the original or the Parfum. And then I picked up the Aqua and this is the Eau de Parfum Lagerie, I think. Lagerie, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And I did get, I believe these are 1.7 ounces. And they, these were just discounted on Fragrance Snap. And they're so popular that that's why I got it. But this Olympia, this is the Aqua I did not get along with. I'm learning that I don't like, I like sweet scents but now when they're kind of like candy sweet like um bella essence didn't work out for me because it had kind of that candiness but if it's a lot of notes and there is a candiness to it i'm learning i'm not i'm not too crazy about it i'm still trying to figure it out because i am someone who i i do like a lot of the fragrances i pick up and this one is described as white floral citrus vanilla floral and salty and the original is described as vanilla salty praline and i much prefer the original i actually i i really like this one i think this is a very beautiful year-round scent but i think i'm gonna enjoy this for summer this scent is like the ocean breeze <laughs> this scent is like golden hour to me like when the sun is setting on the beach this scent is so gorgeous. So I do like the original. I'm really, really enjoying this. I can't wait to wear this during summer. It's just, it's fresh. I, I've i heard people say, I was expecting like a salted caramel. I don't get caramel. I get more of a fresh, salty breeze scent if that makes any sense to you. I mean, I know that sounds crazy. So there's water jasmine in here, mandarin and praline. So I'm sure in the dry down that might be where people get the caramel, the salted caramel. From the bottle, this is very like aquatic to me. And there is ambergris. You can't use the real ambergris anymore. It's the synthetic. So they create the scent and I'm learning that I like it, but it's, I think it's whale sperm, I believe it is. Whatever it is, I'm learning I like that note. So I really do like the original. I did not get along with this one. I am going to be letting go of this one. Again, I've had this already for a little over a month now and I've been testing them out and I just didn't get along with um, Olympia Aqua. So beautiful scents. If you like Olympia and you want an even more fresh, but I would kind of say candied scent. This comes off very candied on my skin. Now everyone's body chemistry is different, but this came off a little candy sweet on my, on my skin. Okay. And then this was just a really cheap buy. I did my celebrity collection video and I talked about the J, like the J Lo celebrity scents and I mentioned the, the J Lux and the J Lust and then I realized that there was actually an original which is the J Love. And I just happened to be shopping on eBay and saw this. This is really nice. I don't know the longevity on this one, but it's just a nice fruity floral. There is grapefruit that I detect right away in here. 
but this is just sweet fruity citrus and like a little bit more tropical than the other two that I mentioned so this was this only cost me like $10 and I wanted to add it because I just love the little cubes on these and when I saw it for 10 bucks I'm like I just I gotta add that to my collection and then the last one that I've been trying and testing out and this is Dolce and Gabbana's the only one and this is the all the perfume intense and you guys know how I feel about the only one the original I love it it's one of my top perfumes but sadly this one didn't work out for me and several people mentioned this one and what got me was the coconut and people said that it was kind of like a boozy coconut and from the bottle, this is amazing. It is like a boozy coconut, but when this hits my skin, it turns into that. There's, I gotta figure out what note it is that turns certain perfumes into like candy on me. I don't like it. It's like a, almost like a starburst, just like sweet candy. And I don't, I don't like that on me. Cause even on the paper, it smells coconutty and woody but I've given this one a shot several times and it and it comes off very candy on my skin I don't get the coconut on my skin I don't get the booziness you guys know I love my boozy scents it's amazing in the bottle it's just again with my chemistry it didn't work out so something you're going to want to smell in stores and also um, put on your wrist I wouldn't suggest smelling it on a card or from the bottle because I quite enjoy it <laughs> on this card but and this one is described as white floral vanilla woody citrus sweet and coconut I wonder if it's the citrus with the coconut I did look up the notes and Neroli is also in here and I feel like sometimes I don't like when two worlds collide so I'm, I don't know what it is in here that's just when they mix them together it's not working out for me but again that's Dolce & Gabbana is the only one and this is all the parfum intense sorry if you guys can hear my dog snoring I ain't gonna wake him up so okay and then next I did pick up some testers for like dirt cheap and they came in these white box because they were testers and that is La Lique Le Parfum and L'Amour La Lique so this I've seen in several people's videos but because of the, the bottle being so large, I just didn't feel like I needed it in my collection. But then I saw it, I want to say like 20 bucks. I know both of these were dirt cheap. And this one is described as aromatic, balsamic, vanilla, powdery, sweet, and fresh, spicy. So I think this is going to be right up my alley. So I do get the fresh spicy and the powderiness of this, kind of um, citrusy. I don't get the vanilla, that's probably gonna be more on the dry down. But yeah, right now, just from the bottle, that's kind of, comes off kind of alcohol. Yeah, this, this is different from anything I have. This is very fresh, spicy, woody. Could almost lean um, unisex. I would have to see how this plays on my skin because you guys know that how it smells on the card. Let's try it. Okay, so this um, has Indian Bay Bergamot. So that must be the citrus that I'm getting. Pink pepper, jasmine, heliotrope, almond. Okay, so this is like not a fruity floral. This is definitely, yeah, I can see why this is like balsamic and aromatic. There's tonka bean, sandalwood, so I'm really very interested to see how this one dries down just because this doesn't smell like anything I have in my collection. And again, this was like really cheap, but this is Lalique Le Parfum. And then L'Amour Lalique, this one I think I'm gonna like. It's very pretty. Yeah. This one is described as white floral, citrus, floral, tuberose, woody, and animalic. And I've really been getting into tuberose. Now that I'm able to pick it up, the more and more I'm collecting, the more and more I'm able to pick up certain notes. 
so yeah i'll have to follow both of these up maybe in a separate video okay and now for my last two blind buys so i've been collecting the chance chanel little bottles i couldn't find this in a 1.2 which i was kind of upset about because i really love those little 1.2 bottles but this is chanel chance ov oh this and this is the edt so this is the 1.7 <laughs> so this has like a, a pepperiness to it Ooh, I think I'm going to like this one a lot of this Chanel Chance the Chance Chanel line they're very soft and um, understated but very beautiful scents this one's a little bit more lively mm, like a dry fruity floral but I could, it could be like maybe there's pink pepper in here because there's a pepperiness in here <laughs> for sure that almost dries this this fruitiness. Maybe grapefruit. <sighs> this is like a refreshing, peppery, fruity floral. Like not your typical juicy fruity floral, but a little dry. Oh, this is really good. I think I'm going to be happy that this is the one that I have in the large size because this is really good, actually. There's got to be grapefruit in here. Oh, so I'll have to follow this one up, but I think I'm going to really like this one. This one is Chance Chanel Au Vif. And then for my last one, and I got the two Chanel ones from Sephora during their VIB sale. I got them for 20% off and I did, again, try to pick smaller sizes and then I had a gift card so I didn't pay a lot. And this is Chanel Paris Gabriel. Oh. So this is the essence. So I tried the other Gabriel in Ulta and I liked it but it didn't wow me. And then when I started looking at reviews on YouTube, a lot of people said that the essence was actually nicer. So I did get the 1.2 in this. Oh my God, so pretty. How adorable is that? So guys, you know I'm a collector. I enjoy collecting smaller bottles because I want to get through it so it doesn't waste. There are a lot of perfumes I will not be re-adding back into my collection. And if it is, then once I waste it, I'll, I'll get the bigger one. Ooh. Atomizer on that is nice. Ooh, I like this. White floral, clean, mature, but not too mature. I really like this one though. This is definitely a Chanel classy perfume. And this one on the card is definitely wowing me more than the other Gabriel. I think there might be two girls in here because there is, again, white floral. It's a little sweet. This is just a very classy scent it's almost i don't want to compare this to number five because i still want to try olu i think it is olo and prima but it's almost like it gives me chanel number five vibes like a more modern version almost oh i think i'm really gonna like this one again i'll have to follow all these perfumes up but yeah guys that was my haul eight perfumes for of my initial thoughts on them. I hope you like this video. Let me know, do you guys have any of these? What are your thoughts on them? Do you like them? Do you hate them? And that will do it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like me and haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed. Click the notification bell so you know when I upload. And until next time, guys.